Welcome everybody to A Decent Reserve. My name is Nyakan. I've got my coffee. Let's go. Playing as Muscovy. Pretty straightforward. Um, you know, I actually haven't ever formed Russia in this game on Iron Man mode. There are a lot of strange, um, pretty simple, straightforward uh, achievements. That's the word. There we go. Uh, that I haven't gotten. Yeah, so, you know, on the way to this, we're going to form Russia, get that achievement knocked out, and maybe uh, come across some other opportunities. Uh, you start the game as Muscovy with a few vassals here. We've got Peskov. It's this guy over here. Hi, Peskov. Uh, who else? We've got Yaroslavl. Hello. Uh, and our third but uh, biggest vassal is Perm. Okay, so we might we might use these guys, uh, feed them some territory before we annex them, uh, and we're gonna put them to good use right now. Let's get started on Tiver. I call him Tiver. That's that can't be the right way to pronounce his name, but I like calling him Tiver. I like introducing an I uh, in between that T and the V. Um, sounds sounds nice to me. So we're gonna try to get Tiver out of here. Don't worry, he's gonna. <laughs> Gonna be out of this game pretty soon, so I won't have to drive you nuts with that. Oh, improve relations with Tyver. No, 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 I'm afraid not. Conquer Novgorod. Ooh. Hey, that's a big mission there. Uh, I'm actually gonna cancel it. Try to get something better. Set our uh, rivals here. Novgorod, of course. Uh, Golden Horde and I guess Lithuania for now. Right? I guess him for now. Let's get these embargoes set up so we get a little power projection. Pretty standard, uh, pretty standard going here. Finish up our last embargo on Novgorod, our third vassal. And then we'll just insult one of these guys, probably Golden Horde. He's the least likely to attack us after uh, getting insulted and having that CB. In the meantime, we can begin... We can begin fabricating a claim on Odayev. I think he's the first one we should eat before Ryzen. And just knock him knock him out. And a nice border with Lithuania. Make it simpler on ourselves. We're making a little bit of money, but I don't think it's time to hire an advisor just yet. Don't have the greatest king. The air is going to be much better though. Good to get there. We will get there. Okay, insulting. Novgorod, yes. Thank you. Go ahead and get the start on Ryazan as well. Let's knock out all these little guys here. Uh-oh, he's guaranteed by Lithuania and the Golden Horde. Well, as an alternative to this, we can actually just vassalize him. Deal with that situation. These guys have not been guaranteed by anybody. Oh, this has been guaranteed by Novgorod. Okay. If that's the case, then we might as well get, um... Might as well get started on Novgorod first, huh? In the same trade league as Dayev. Interesting. You know what? I haven't been presented with this before. If someone's called in... As part of a trade league in a defensive war. Is he considered a co-belligerent? This is something we're going to find out right here on this episode. I may still be able to just go ahead and eat Odorov. Uh, Odayev, whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get back to this. Yeah. Get a claim on our good friend Tiver. Lithuania fabricated a claim on us. Because he's a jerk. He's a joik. Okay, that's done. We're done with Tiver. I want to see as if this guy's a co-belligerent. He's not. Alright, so we can eat him up in the same war. This is what I like. Get our claims on Novgorod then. Dude, you know what? That mission would have been great. <laughs> eat all of Novgorod. Okay. Yeah. Could have left that, huh? That's okay.
Waiting for these claims to come up, and then we'll start killing people. Don't worry, it'll get exciting soon. Really soon. Is the music not loud enough? I'm gonna turn it up just a tad. And I think we'll be better. I think I, think I needed to do that. So there we go. Royal marriage from Yaroslavl. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do a mission. Form alliance with Ryzen? No. Protect our brethren here. No. Afraid not. Shoot. Hey, let's cancel it again and reroll. I suppose. I suppose. You can get a whole bunch of claims on Novgorod here. That was probably a mistake. I should have taken that mission, huh? The straightforward mission. Hey, take all this stuff. They'd get claims on all of it. Some of it, right? Guess we're gonna do this the slow way. Okay, that was pretty fast. Got a PU over Lithuania. Poland did. So let's... Let's rival Denmark, I suppose. Get a claim on Ryazan. We will cancel the train embargo we issued against Wainu. Because he's not a rival anymore. Oh, wait. There we go. And if she went against Denmark, and bump up our power projection just a little bit more. I'm leaving my forts um, maintained, by the way, to just keep my tradition, I guess, even. Really, the word. It, it does go up slowly, but the alternative right, to this is it goes down slowly. You can't tell until it ticks over, but I'd rather have it that way. Just would rather have it that way. All right, I think we can just uh, go ahead and eat this guy. Get this part over with. Not until... Yep. Yep, sure. A great general to start with. Great general. Okay, this guy's dead. Totally wiped. That's fantastic. Doesn't have siege value, but that's okay. It has A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna bring some infantry over here so I don't have to take attrition in my cav. A little bit more expensive to reinforce your cav units. There we go. Holding a little good old Suturu there. The war is very straightforward. I actually don't need to keep this. I'm gonna keep getting claims on Novgorod here. You know what I can do now? I can build a spy network, network against Kazan. And I suppose Golden Horde too, since we're doing this right now. I don't even try to get allies, really. Should have. Eh. For the almighty Russia. Get some Patriarch Authority up here. We're gonna be taking over Sunni provinces. So we want that sweet missionary strength that Patriarch Authority gives you. Oh, here it is. Conquer Novgorod. Great. That's great. There. Now all the claims are there. Problem solved. Problem solved. Alright, eat... Uh, get rid of that. This is almost over. Go ahead and loot this province, I suppose. Might as well. We're gonna eat it, we're not gonna... vassalize them or anything. Could vassalize them, but eh. Okay. So, something very important that I always forget to start off with is messing around with your estates a little bit. We can get all these free points here, and I always forget. Ooh. Okay, there. Now, um... If we do it this way, 
if we curb such excesses and we get base production in Sue's doll, we get also uh, 50 dip points out of it. Actually, probably more than that. Oh, wait, we don't. Really? Oh, yes, we do. We just needed to go back into it. Okay, 50 points, yes. Yeah, this is all fine. I'm after the points here. The manpower modifier isn't going to be that important, really. It's not going to be that important this early. So if we can abuse the nobility a little bit in the beginning of the game, it's okay, we'll get away with it. Generally, though, I like that manpower modifier. I want to keep that. In this case, it's not as important. Okay, there's Ryzen. We can eat him up. Gobble, gobble. Wow, really? It's that expensive? Hmm. That's a lot of development. There is. You know what? We could vassalize him. I guess when we go to war here, we can feed him Odeyev, right? Yeah, let's vassalize him. We have the slot for it. Okay, you're going to be our vassal. You will not give up your claim in Odeyev. And I don't really need your money. I don't want to take that inflation for... 100 ducats. Nope. Inflation is uh, a pet peeve of mine. You'll come to learn these things about me. I have my little quirks. Uh, I will always take mercantilism. Always. <laughs> um, and I will think twice about taking inflation often, when perhaps it's okay to take the inflation. I just don't like it. No, I just don't like it. Make sure Ryzen is loyal before we start this war. Need to make him loyal before we start this war. Whoops, taking attrition. You know, another way to do this is to... Like, it, local rulers, if we had any prestige. <laughs> we don't. So we're just going to wait for this to tick down as we improve relations with Ryazan. We're going to build units, so it's going to be harder for us to keep them loyal. We could build some of our own. 9-2 and 8-3, sure. Sounds like... Five more Cav to me. I'm a Cav fan. Very important that you protect your Cav. Also very important that you use your Cav, though. Cav is nice. You want to fight short, decisive battles if possible. Always better fighting drawn out, messy ones. You want to pick a battle that you know you're going to win and win decisively. And if you do that, don't take a lot of cav losses, do you? As we get these guys together, we'll take a claim on the Golden Horde. Oh, we can't. Hmm. I see. Okay. Well, I'll do some diplomatic feedback here. Tell my vassal, hey, claim this stuff. Build a spy network in Kazan, get rid of this one in Golden Horde. Our vassal is going to have to do some work for us here with claims. We'll have to get a claim on Lipis Lipitsk for us. That's okay. Ooh, this is the time to attack, isn't it? Only Ryzen were loyal. He doesn't have to be loyal, right? He doesn't have to be in this war. But it would be cool if we could get him in this war. Well, he'll join anyway, right? We'll, we'll just wait until he gets loyal. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. the goal would be to take... Oh, the capital, why not? Nah, Colm's, Colm's better. The goal will be to take Colm. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of your rebel problem for you. Because I need to siege your capital anyway. Oops, I forgot to send the general. 
As soon as I say, win decisive battles, I send in my army without a general. Oops. Oops. I'm really good at this game. This is the other thing that you'll uh, find out about me. Super good. Oh, I have all the all the viewers and subscribers that I do. <laughs> if you're coming here for my channel, you know all about my uh, shenanigans for my uh, channel on Twitch. Once these guys get settled, I'm going to. Set them up, up in better ways. I'd like to get the cav out of here. Again, I don't want the cav attrition. I'd rather put infantry on sieges. Yeah, Ryazan's doing some work now. That's good. Yep, that's great. Let's get a claim on... Oops, Kazan. Okay, we have four more to take. Four more. We'll let these guys siege down our territory a little bit. It's not really that important to defend this. More important is to keep our units together here, and to siege down these two critically important forts for him. Uh, let's let's correct that to say only forts for him. Yeah, very important. We may feed some of this to Piskov if it doesn't violate the mission. It may violate the mission. It does violate the mission. What's a reward? Is it good? It's pretty good. Pretty good. I would like for my vassal to start claiming Livonian order stuff too. And Riga. These guys are messing around here, that's fine. these guys together. They can survive an attack at least. I'd like to move these units over here. Ooh, I can't leave. Hmm. I can get access from Lithuania so that I can. And I can, yeah, I can get out here. I'd like to get here to Rezev. In case the unit here is attacked, have something I can do about it. Really, either any one of these units can defend themselves long enough with that 15 stack attacks. I can see it coming far enough away that I can maneuver the right way to defend myself. I'd like to attack this two stack. I'm going to lose that territory temporarily. Ooh. That's right, I forgot to walk away from that fort. Hmm. Well, now's the time I can declare on Tiver, I think. And just eat him up, right? Do I have a claim here? I do. Yeah, let's declare war. Already at war with Novgorod anyway. And now I might as well just attack him. Oh, no, it's nothing but Cav. Let's keep those back. I guess I'll move them here. We'll uh, give up this province for now. What's important are getting these forts. We'll let our vassals do the work out here. Keep some loyal. Keep some loyal. Of course, that's a reference to uh, your vassals with more relative power than you. Their liberty desire goes up, so if that power goes down because they're losing troops in battles, their liberty desire goes down.
We're going to try to keep these to 20 minute episodes. This will be a single player series. Um, you guys can also check out a multiplayer series that I'm uh, recording right now with Miyakin. I'll have the, uh, the link down in the description down below. Right. Okay, Novgorod has fallen. It looks like the Novgorod army is in trouble. Go make sure he stays in trouble. That'd be nice. Diver is almost out of this world. This fort's almost down, down too in uh, Neva. Okay, Neva's down. Neva, Neva. Potato, potato. I don't know where this army went, actually. I don't know where that Novgorod army went. I lost sight of it. I'd like to be careful out here. Aha, there it is. Okay, let's let's kill it. Let's kill that army. No general again, of course. I like to do these things. I like to talk a big game and then play very sloppily. <laughs> We'll get this silliness under control, I think. There, that's good enough. Let's bring the boys home. We're going to carpet siege the rest of this territory, and what I mean by carpet sieging is just send out minimal forces, siege these territories quickly. We won't even bother reading the uh, Novgorod peace deal. Because it doesn't interest us. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, that's the trouble with doing that. Sometimes they... Sometimes the enemy will recruit some forces there fast enough. You end up walking into trouble. Oh good, the vassals are going to stay loyal. <laughs> Great. They're going to do some work for us. Great. Bring the boys back to Moscow. Back wiped the Novgorod army. And we're just about done with this episode. Looks like the war is over, practically. Um, we're going to go ahead and get some peace deals in the beginning of the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to publish an episode every other day for the series. Uh, this is the... This is going to be a playthrough under uh, Mayor Nostrum. Under that... Um, DLC that's come out for EU4. There, I, I remember that word too. Uh, I, I'll pronounce it Mare Nostrum instead of Mare Nostrum because, you know, I'm not Latin. Why do people pronounce it that way? As if if you don't pronounce it that way, you're stupid. No. You're stupid if you do pronounce it that way. Are you an ancient Roman? No. Stop being silly. See you next time.